One of the biggest challenges that we see manufacturers and equipment owners facing today is how to make their components, how to make their equipment last longer, be more productive and cost less. Here, you can come and visit, you can see the technologies that we're using to improve productivity through digitalization. This is the AMRC's Maintenance 4.0 cell. The data management strand of this demonstration shows how the adoption of a standard data specification can facilitate the adoption of Industry 4 technologies. We decided to use S1000D, an international specification for the production of technical publications. S1000D is used extensively in aerospace and marine industries and with a growing presence in rail. It's highly structured and suitable for complex, long lifespan assets. One of the really interesting sides of this demo is how we move the data around the cell. We take the CAD model and animate it using Creo Illustrate. We store the files on the Windchill database. Meanwhile, we take the PDF technical manual and transfer it into Arbitex Editor, which outputs it as data modules and they are stored on the Common Source database. ThingWorks passes this data and sends it straight into the, the AR app, which forms our digital work instructions. The system architecture deployed here results in a digital thread. So a change made to the technical manual on Arbitex Editor trickles down automatically to the AR experience. Augmented reality has the potential to revolutionise how maintenance practices are conducted. It's an intuitive way to train new employees, advise those working on unfamiliar systems, or to update and refresh the knowledge of experienced system maintainers. To date, an AR experience has needed a bespoke system and therefore duplication of data and the associated administration workload. The AMRC has developed a unique system which seamlessly harnesses the S1000D database and publishes that information to an AR application. The digital thread runs from the S1000D database right through to the shop floor artisan conducting the maintenance exam. The concepts of distinct print, screen and AR technical publications merge. There's simply one source of data to manage. In this example, for a very modest investment, a business can operate an autonomous visual inspection and optical projection system. This system is highly flexible and can be adopted to any number of scenarios in a business. In our demonstrator, the status of the brake indicator is reported by a projector. However, this could equally be a warning light, an email or a database entry. The final technical element of the demonstrator shows how the use of RFID tags can benefit a business's material management. Specifically for a managed stores where stock needs to be manually monitored, the use of digital tools can provide seamless monitoring with no additional input from the shop floor artisans. It has the potential to be used to integrate with purchasing systems to streamline the procurement process and mitigate the business risks of low stock or indeed the cash flow cost of carrying too much stock. For artisans, it allows integration with work instructions so they know spare parts are available when and where they're needed. Our live digital dashboard is what pulls this demonstrator together. All statuses of the various technical elements are consolidated and reported. The maintenance procedure progress data can be used to record time to completion and better inform planning or to direct attention for process improvement. The action of combining elements allows the functionality of the demonstrator to be further elevated. For example, a visual inspection system could mandate that a certain safety condition is met before a work instruction progresses. Our Maintenance 4.0 project aims to inspire visitors to think how smart technologies can benefit their business. We want to demonstrate the AMRC's capability and to show horizontal innovation that's applicable to rail asset maintenance. We also want to research and reduce barriers for businesses, no matter where they are on their digitalisation journey. We want this to be an asset for future developments and a facility where industry can experience, develop and de-risk the adoption of new tools and processes.